Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your MIDI controller so that you have one button to increase tempo and one button to decrease tempo. Now, if you're not using something like the Push 2, this can be a really desirable ability to be able to push the tempo up or push the tempo down. You can do this with any MIDI controller, but um, I highly recommend the Launch Control XL. Um, and if you've been following me for a minute, you know that this is the controller of choice that I love to use. Um, there are a lot of reasons for that, but one of the reasons for that is that there are actually eight user modes. Um, so it really gives you a lot of flexibility and the software is very easy to use. So I'm going to show you how to set it up using the Novation Launch Control XL. But if you have another controller, so long as it has software, you'll be able to do the same thing. Now before I show you how to do this, I need you to make sure you click that like button, subscribe to my page, and leave a comment. I don't want you to miss out on anything because every single Tuesday and Saturday, I am coming out with a new material that's going to make you the best you can be at using Ableton Live. So let's, let's have a look here. We're going to start in our software editor. So for me, this is the Novation Launch Control Editor, but for you, this might be your Nano Control or whatever it is that you're using. Um, so in order to make this work, we need a couple of things. We need two buttons sending the same message. So that's a MIDI CC or a note. Two buttons sending the same message. One of them sending a value of 127, which will cause Ableton to decrease the tempo. And one of them sending a value of 1, which will cause Ableton to increase the tempo. Now, a bit of a side note here. Ableton says on their website that sending a value of 0 will increase the tempo, but I've actually found that sending the value of zero doesn't work. Um, it makes it jump, and we don't want it to jump, we want it to increase just by one. So for the purposes of this tutorial, based off of my findings, we're going to set that button to one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load my user 8 template from my device. Now you'll notice I already have this set up, but I'm going to recreate this using these two buttons so you can follow along. So as you see, I'm using MIDI CC91, and that's really easy to change over here. You can change the message type from note to CC for both of these buttons. And then we're gonna go ahead and set the ranges. So for this button here, which will eventually be the button we use to decrease our tempo, I'm gonna change it from zero to 127 to 127 to 127. And the reason for that is I don't want it to send any value except for 127. So there is no range, it is just the number 127 because that's what Ableton needs to receive. Now over here on this button, I'm going to change the CC, the control message, to 59 so that it matches. Because remember, both of these buttons are serving the same purpose. Now instead of 0 to 127, we're going to change both of these guys to send out 1. Now we're going to leave these as momentary switches because we're not turning something on and off, which is toggle. We're just sending a command. So now I'm going to go ahead and save this to my user 8 template on my Novation Launch Control. I'm going to hit OK. So now my controller has received it. So let's head over here to Ableton. Now there are some rules when it comes to mapping for this. So we're going to enter MIDI mapping mode by hitting Command M. And we're going to click over here on our whole number, and we're going to press our button. Now, we need to make sure down here that our mode is set to relative twos, which it came up automatically for me. But if it doesn't for you, you do it down here. And now we need to adjust the minimum and the maximum. Now, there's a bit of a strange rule for this. Um, the difference between the lowest number and the highest number needs to be by powers of 128. So, for example... If our lowest tempo is 60, that's our minimum tempo, it needs to be exactly 128 higher for the maximum value. So 188 would be our maximum tempo. Now, what if you need a larger range? Well, 128 times 2 is 256, and let's say our lowest um, value is still 60 plus 256, then our maximum value would be 316. Using any other values is going to make a jump by not whole numbers, and that's not desirable, right? So let's go back to Ableton. And we're going to set our minimum to 60. And remember, we need 128 times 2, and that's going to put our maximum at 316. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and give this a test here. So I'm going to exit MIDI mapping mode, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press my down button. Check it out. We're going down. 
Now, as I go up, we're going up. So just so you can see better what I'm doing, these guys are my buttons that I've mapped. And so as I hit this up button, you'll see on the computer my increased tempo. And you'll notice the colors are starting to change, right? As that uh, tempo. And here I'm hitting my down button. And you see the tempo decreasing. All right, friends, it's that easy to set up two buttons to move your volume up and down in Ableton Live. Now, if you like what you see, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, tell me what you think. I would love to hear from you. And take a second to head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go. Get plugged in, sign up for my newsletter. I'm going to send you a free copy of my ebook, The Fast Track Patch List Guide. It's really awesome. You're going to love it. It teaches you how to build a patch list in Ableton. And I send out freebies here and there. So you're going to want to get your hands on everything I'm sending out. Make sure you sign up. I'm looking forward to connecting with you there.